Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To view the advanced network settings in Windows 11, open the Settings app window and then click the Network and Internet button at the left side of the screen to show the network and internet settings for your computer to the right. Then click the Advanced Network Settings button to the right to show the advanced network settings at the right side of the Settings app window. To disable the network adapters for any network adapter shown in the network adapters list, which often includes Bluetooth network connection, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, click the Disable button within the Settings button for the type of network adapter to disable. To enable a disabled network adapter, return to this page to refresh it if necessary. Then click the Enable button that appears within the Settings button for the type of disabled network adapter to enable. To view the connection settings for a network adapter in the Network Adapters list, click to expand it. To rename an adapter if needed, click the Rename button in its expanded settings to open the Rename Your Hardware dialog box, type a new name, and then click the Save button. To view more properties of a network adapter, click the View Additional Properties button in its expanded settings to view its IP settings, DNS settings, and additional information at the right side of the Settings window. You can edit or copy this information as shown in the earlier lessons about each type of connection. To return to the Advanced Network Settings, click the Advanced Network Settings link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To view data usage by app over the last 30 days for a connection, click the Data Usage Setting button under the More Settings section. You can use the drop-down in the upper right corner to select the connection for which to view usage data. If desired to set a data limit warning in Windows 11 for the selected connection, click the Enter Limit button in the upper right corner of the page, select an option button for the limit type, enter any additional information, and then click the Save button. To return to the Advanced Network Settings, click the Advanced Network Settings link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To view all your device's hardware and connection properties, click the Hardware and Connection Properties button under the More Settings section to show these properties at the right side of the Settings app window. To return to the Advanced Network Settings, click the Back button in the upper left corner of the Settings app window. To perform a factory reset of all your network adapters in Windows 11, which requires a reboot and may require a reinstallation of related networking software if used, click the Network Reset button under the More Settings section. Then click the Reset Now button in the Network Reset setting. To confirm, click the Yes button in the message box that then appears. Your computer will then reboot to finish the network reset. Assuming you didn't perform a network reset, you can click the Advanced Network Settings link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the page to return to the Advanced Network Settings page. To open the Network Connections dialog box in Windows 11 if desired, click the More Network Adapter Options button under the Related Settings section. This dialog box provides access to the same adapter settings for your device for users more familiar with changing network adapter settings using the control panel style dialog boxes. You can close this dialog box by clicking the X in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.